What's going on, all my hollers and ballers and go-getters? The ones that wake up in the morning, look in the mirror, say I'm gonna get money. It's Matthew Vick and the JoJo Lena. And if you want to be inspired to start your own business, hit that like and subscribe button. And today we're going to share with you some questions that subscribers have sent to us. And the cover winner of the week is All Around Hauling out of AZ. So yeah, hit that like and subscribe button down below and uh, check out the video. Our first question comes from Adam Ander and he wants to know, is a 10 foot box truck enough? Absolutely. We started with a pickup truck an eight foot bed, lawn bed, Toyota Tundra, not even with any walls on the side. And we're, we started making money and we've stepped our game up and we got a dump trailer. And then what, a year later we got a dump truck. So you can start with anything. You can start with a minivan. Like I said before, we picked up jobs in the little Honda, a oh, little yeah. single item pickup. So you can start with a 10 foot box truck. You'll get some jobs done and make some good money. Yes, no excuses, only solutions. You can start with anything. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Our next question is Jose Salazar. And he wants to know if you need a CDL to drive the truck we're in. No, you don't. You don't need it. It's underweight. It's, uh, I think the weight is 26,000 pounds and more. You got to have a commercial driver's license. And this is a light duty NPR and it's under that weight. So you don't need one. The only thing you need is a normal license and you're good to go. Yeah, so if you're afraid of getting one of these because you think you need a special license, nope. You don't. That's you a don't. good question, too. Yeah. And um, our next question is Janielle Warner. And um, they want to know, how are we making money on YouTube? How are we making money on YouTube? Well, we post every couple of days, and we're able to get our videos monetized. So YouTube's actually paying us money to make these videos, and we make a lot of how-to videos, and we got a bunch of subscribers now. Not a whole lot, but a lot more than we thought. Oh yeah, when we first started our YouTube channel, we did it just for advertisement, because you know we talk so much about free platforms, and YouTube is a free platform. So we started it just for advertising, and what happened was, you know, people started watching us and seeing what we do, and then they 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 wanted to do it too. And now we have so many people watching and um, liking and subscribing, and um, we love it when you hit the like button because it helps the YouTube algorithm know exactly where to um, put our videos in front of other people that may find um, our videos inspiring for them to start a business also. And also we noticed that some people were sharing our videos and I didn't even know that anybody was doing that but when you look at your uh, video analytics it tells you that you know it's been shared so many times and I want to just take a quick time to thank you for doing that because if you're sharing our videos and you are a main reason why our channel is growing so much and um, I just want to thank you for doing that yeah we appreciate it make sure if you guys are making YouTube videos that you don't use no music that's been copyrighted because it won't get monetized so don't be putting Dr. Dre in there Snoop Dogg in there because they ain't gonna get monetized so yeah you'll get a strike against you so don't do that yeah you want to make sure you're not using anything that's um, copyrighted by somebody else our next question is life after junk removal and um, they're wanting to know about how do we charge taxes do we charge taxes for residential pickups or commercial pickups like how do we do that when it comes to doing jobs we don't add no tax in there at all whatsoever we just give them a flat rate we're already making good money anyway so there's no reason to do it some guys do do it but we don't so yeah I just hit the customer with a price and that's the price there ain't no hidden fees yeah our next question comes from James Pitt and um, he wants to know if we notice that we get calls when we do Facebook boosts absolutely yes we'll boost ads and we'll make little commercials and we'll boost them in like a 15 mile radius and yeah we get a lot of calls a lot of calls make get a lot of business from it and sometimes we'll pull to the dumps and I'll see the guys at the landfill and they'll be like hey we seen your video so it gets around yeah it's a great thing if you're able to like 
shoot a small like video commercial and post that on your Facebook it's it's such a great way to advertise and it's kind of fun but we notice that when we do a Facebook boost yes the phone will ring more um, Facebook in our area is extremely popular and it's a great way to market I know different areas may be different if you live in an area where there's a lot of older people they might may not be as into Facebook as certain other areas are but it definitely works in our area. Yeah, we might spend 50 or or $100, and that's really the only money we really spend on advertising is on Facebook boost ads. So, yeah. Yeah, that's the And only we don't thing. do it all the time. We do it every once in a while. <laughs> Brandon Mohini wants to know, what do we do if we give an estimate and we show up at the job and it is bigger than we expected? Do we send the customer a bill or do we have them pay in advance or how do we handle jobs that are bigger than we expected? You don't ever want to do a job and then surprise a customer with it being a whole lot more. So we show up to a job and we price it before maybe through the pictures and we show up there and it's a lot more. We let the customer know ASAP. You don't want to surprise them because you'll get a bad review. You don't ever want to load your truck up and then hit the customer with a price. Always give them the price first and then load up. So if there's more there than you thought, let the customer know ASAP. Yeah, and a good way to also cover yourself is to charge per load. Yeah, if you're doing a hoarder house and you show up and you think it's gonna be between eight and 10 loads, let the customer know it's gonna be between eight and 10 loads, but we can start with five loads and see how far we get. That's how we do it. Yeah, then they're not surprised. Yeah. Okay, Kevin Webster wants to know, what's the heaviest we've ever weighed in with the dump truck? I would say around 4,000 pounds, two tons. So this thing's rated for two tons. And we normally just pick up construction debris and household items. So we really don't weigh in a whole lot. Just about, about two tons, I would say. Yeah. Washing Tones Junk Removal wants to know, do we give a discount for cardboard? Hell no. <laughs> No, we do. <laughs> Ain't no one going to pay a full price for a load of cardboard. So, yeah, we give a discount. Not a whole lot, but we will give a discount. Yeah, we do. We do try to keep our per load fees um, the same, regardless of what it is. Um, we don't really change the price if it costs less to dump. But we've noticed that people are hesitant to, to pay a full load price. So obviously a person's not gonna pay a full load price for cardboard. Some cardboard, hell no. Nah. Yeah. So yeah, we do drop the price a little bit. And yeah, I love cardboard. <laughs> it's, I love it too. Hell yeah. Okay, and um, Wizard of Raw wants to know, how do you determine what is worth keeping to resell? And also, how do we go about separating those items from the junk that we're going to throw away? Well, when it comes to reselling items, we've been doing junk removal for a while now. We know what items are hot and what's not hot. So whenever we see dressers that are real wood and not particle board, they'll sell fast. Any patio furniture, furniture will sell fast. Any music instruments will sell fast. So we kind of got it down. We know what sells fast and what doesn't sell. We'll post on Facebook Market, and if we notice we get a lot of hits really quick, we know it's a hot item. Yep. And we always put the stuff in last. So JoJo will give me that look like, hey, this is worth some money. <laughs> We're going to put this online. So we'll put it to the side and either put it inside the truck, in the toolbox thing, or we'll load it last and pull it out when we go to the dumps, dump everything, and then load it back up. So, yeah. Okay. That's how we do that. That's how we do that. Mason Taylor. He wants to know um, if we pay for nearby jobs on Yelp. Hell no. And I'm glad they stopped calling me too. We don't pay Yelp nothing. We do it all free and organic. We don't pay them nothing. And uh, something about Yelp is they'll like to erase your reviews too. So yeah. yeah, it works for some people, but for us, we don't pay it. So yeah. yeah. No, when we say we use free platforms, um, that's exactly what we do. So. Um, Obviously, we're on Yelp. It's a good free platform to be on, but we've never paid for it. And I'm sure you've noticed that when you start your business and you're on Yelp, they will call you nonstop. Blow you up. They will blow you up. They want you to pay. Oh, oh, you'll be seeing so much more if you do this, this, and that. Nope, we never did it. 
So we are free on Yelp. Yeah, don't let people separate you from your money. They'll try to do it. Once you start making cash, you'll notice more people are trying to separate you from your money. So don't yeah. let it happen. Don't let it happen. Don't do it. Um, the nearby jobs, though, there's another free platform that you can be on called Nextdoor. And it doesn't cost anything. And that is people in your area. So that's a, no, if you're not on that, you should look that up and research it. And yeah, we get a lot. We got a lot it. of business from there, too. A lot. Yeah. And it's great because they're nearby. Oh, yeah. They're just, they're your neighbors. Okay, Ken Croft, he wants to know, do you charge the same for contractors as you would a residential customer? Hell no, contractor jobs are just a pain in the ass. There's a bunch of little pieces, and a lot of times it weighs a lot more when we go to the dump, so we gotta pay more dump fees, so we charge more money. And it, it is. It's a lot of work to, to load construction debris up. And oftentimes, at the very end, I'm on the ground scooping everything in because you have all those tiny little wood pieces. And Yeah, it's a dirty job, but someone got to do it. So we're going to charge more money and make it worth our time. So, yeah, yeah, for sure. Danielle Ramirez wants to know, who inspired you to start a business? Was it one of the junk removal YouTubers? Well, I'm going to tell you like this. I was working a dead-end job. And I knew I needed to make a change and I wanted to start a business. So I started YouTubing junk removal. And I came across a guy named Tim Doss from Junk Mob. And you know what? It was awesome. He got gave great information. And I was learning some off every single video. And I started showing JoJo the videos. And we ended up watching the videos every day, a new video. And started taking notes. And uh, it helped us out a lot. So check out Tim Doss from Junk Mob. He has great information and uh, he helped us a lot. Yeah. I, I used to think we were crazy that, that our, our evenings we thought were so cool sitting on the couch watching, watching Tim Doss and taking notes. And every single video I learned something new. Every, every single video I learned something I did not know. I, this wouldn't have been possible without him. Eric Pena wants to know how much was the lift gate? The lift gate was $3,500. And let me tell you, the best $3,500 I ever spent. And it's a back saver and it's a game changer. So, yeah, we got it custom built. It only cost us $3,500. And I'll do it again. Oh, yes. It, it, it definitely isn't something you have to have to start. But it's definitely a great way to reinvest in your business. If, if you're wanting this business to be like your lifelong thing that you do, I highly suggest that you reinvest and get yourself a lift gate in the future. Yeah, ain't nothing better than pulling up to a job and there's an iron tub right there and you back up to it, drop that lift gate down, push it on top of the lift gate, push that button up, it lifts it up, and then you slide it in there. So yeah, it's a game changer, and it was $3,500. Also, if you're a couple doing this, and it's just the two of you, it definitely makes it like completely possible to definitely. not have to hire somebody else. Oh, next question. Dan Dempsey, do you network with other junk callers in your area, and is there any benefit to it? We are cool with all of our competition because you never know who's gonna be super busy and shoot work your way and we do it vice versa. So I don't hate on no one at all. We're not no haters. We'll shoot work to people and they'll shoot it right back. So you never know where the work's coming from and you never know who's shooting you work. So yeah, we do. Mm -hmm. And then sometimes people will call us about um, like dirt or rock or cement or concrete and those are things that we tend we're just so busy with other kinds of jobs that we tend to not really do those kind of jobs and it's nice to just like shoot that to somebody else so i hope you guys like this video and leave some comments down below we'll try to answer them we'll start doing this more often so yeah oh yeah for sure so if there's if there's a question you want answered leave it in a comment and maybe we'll do another video like this and we'll answer it or also um one week from today on Sunday, we'll uh, go live and you can shoot us questions while we're going live. Yeah, check us out on Facebook and on Instagram and add us. And until uh, next time, guys, I'm Matthew Vick and this is the JoJo Lena. And keep hauling them balling and hit that like and subscribe button. Don't forget. All right, until next time.